Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the reference angles. The reference angle for a given angle is the positive acute angle formed by the terminal side of the given angle and the x-axis. So, pag sinabi natin positive acute angle, so ano ba yung sukat nun? Sa pagitan ng 0 and 90 degrees. So, for example, this one, Yung given natin na angle is angle A and then yung reference na angle natin is yung angle R. So, ito yung pagbabasihan natin to compute the reference angle. Kapag ang given natin ay nasa quadrant 1 or nasa pagitan ng 0 degrees from 0 degrees to 90 degrees, so yung reference angle niya ay yun pa rin. Okay, so kung ano yung uh, given, yun pa rin yung reference angle natin. And then kapag nasa quadrant 2 between uh, from 90 degrees to 180 degrees so ang pagcompute or pagkuha ng reference angle ay ang kuku gagawin lang natin we can uh, subtract yung given natin from 180 degrees next yung 180 degrees to 270 degrees that is in quadrant 3 so ang gagawin lang natin para makuha natin yung positive acute angles so yung given minus 180 degrees and then yun yung reference angle natin. At kapag nasa quadrant 4 between 270 and 360 degrees, so 360 degrees minus the given angle, so that is the reference angle. Okay, for example, so find the reference angle of the following. So number 1 is 42 degrees. So since 42 degrees is an acute angle, so the reference angles is itself. So, makikita natin sa illustration natin, so yun pa rin yung reference angle natin. Next. Okay, number 2 is 221 degrees. Ano kayo yung reference angle niya? Since si 221 degrees ay makikita natin sa quadrant 3. Tama? Nasa quadrant 3 siya. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formula para makompute natin yung reference angle niya. 221. So, again, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin dahil si 221 degrees ay nasa quadrant 3. So, ang given angle natin is 221 minus 180. So, 221 minus 180. The answer is 41 degrees. So, yung reference angle natin ay 41 degrees. Okay, so makikita natin sa illustration, ito yung 41 degrees. Okay, next is 113 degrees. So, 113 degrees ay nasa quadrant 2, ba? Nasa quadrant 2 siya. So, ang gagamitin natin formula is yung 180 degrees minus the given angle. Okay, kasi for angle whose terminal side lies in quadrant 2, so isosubtract lang natin yung given angle natin from 180 or yung multiple of 180 as the case na mas mahigit sa 360 degrees yung given natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin, using the formula, 180 degrees minus yung given natin na 113 and 180 minus 113, the answer is 67 degrees. So, 67 degrees yung reference angle natin. Okay, next. Number 4, negative 410 degrees. Since si negative 410 degrees, saan kaya makikita si uh, negative 410 degrees? Kung titingnan natin yan, so pwede natin gamitin ito. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin yung uh, given angle plus 360 degrees kasi yung given natin ay negative angles. So, ku kunin natin yung absolute value ng given angle natin plus 360 degrees. So, gamit yung formula na yan. So, ang given angle natin is negative 410. So, negative 410 plus 360 so, negative 410 plus 360 degrees, the answer is negative 50 degrees. Since kinukuha natin yung absolute value, so absolute value ng negative 50 is 50 degrees. So, yung reference angle natin dito sa negative 410 degrees is 50 degrees. 
So, makikita natin dito sa illustration. Okay? So, yung... Nandito yung negative 410 degrees natin. Okay? Dito natin makikita. And then, sa, sa quadrant 4 siya. So, therefore, pwede natin itong gamitin. So, itong absolute value ng given angle plus 360 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.